apparently there's a lot of horrific things about the prophet. Yes, there is. Too many. The Quran actually permits young girls to be married and divorce them to be married off again. That's in the Quran and the Sunnah. Muhammad abolished adoption because he had married his adopted son's divorced wife, Zainab. And then people started making fun of him, like, how could you take your son's wife? So then Allah abolished adoption saying, well, adopted sons are not really sons. So stop calling them your sons. So Muhammad took his adopted son's divorced wife, Zainab bin Jash, and his adopted son was Zayd ibn Muhammad. But then he said, adoption is now abolished. And that's why in Islam, in Islam, can we adopt children? Say so no, you can take care of orphans. I'm not saying you can't do that. But when an orphan reaches age, he cannot live in the house if he's not a son. Why? Because you know about the issue of mahram. I heard about that. And now it was actually, I heard about this a couple years ago. I never really questioned it because I didn't understand. Um, but wow, I did not know that. That means in Muslim countries, there are orphans who don't know who their parents are. And there are couples who can't have children. And because of Muhammad, orphans can't be adopted and raised as children. And couples who can't have children cannot adopt ch children because of Muhammad. How would you feel about that? Let's say you're married and you can't conceive. And you know there's an orphan who doesn't know who his or her parents are. And you would love to adopt that child and love them as your own. And you can't do it because of Islam. I mean, I would feel pretty hurt. But I know I, I'm not def defending anything. But I know some people, they've told me, oh, well, you know, he can go and marry another wife. What about you then? Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I honestly, I, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, but what about, okay, say so he can marry another wife and get a child. What about you? Don't you want a child? Yeah, I'm going to feel hurt. You want a competition wife who can give him kids and you can't give him kids so that she looks down upon you? No, I would not want that. So my point is, okay, he can marry someone. What about the orphans that cannot be adopted and be made part of someone's family? I think that's sad. Well, that's what Muhammad did. So let me show you now the sources. Also forbidden are women already married, except those captives and slaves whom your right hands possess. Do you, you hear that? Yes. Turn on the screen. Now, what, what was... The reason this passage was sent down. Well, here you go. I have it here, but so you don't think I'm making it up. The Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Autas on the occasion of the Battle of Hunain. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have relations with the female captives because of their pagan husbands. So Allah, the exalted, sent down the Quranic verse. And all married women are forbidden unto you, except save those captives whom your right hand possesses. This is to say that they are lawful for them when they complete their waiting period. Are you okay with this? I'm not okay with it. This is how many people experience Islam. If you go back to your history, originally you were not Muslim. Your ancestors would have been Christian. Muslims came, attacked your city, took them captives. Would she consent? No. But it's not up to you because it says that when you're taken captive, here, your marriage is annulled. You're his property. Your opinion doesn't matter. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Don't worry that their husbands are Catholic. Don't worry about it. Their husband's still alive. Chapter 65, verse 4 is talking about the waiting period of a woman who's been married and divorced. So in Islam, you know, if you've been married, but you haven't consummated, there is no idda. If ye wed believing women and divorce them before you have touched them, then there is no period that you should reckon. So if I haven't touched you, do you have a waiting period in idda? No, right? Yeah. But then they ask Muhammad a question. Okay, uh, some of our women are menopause. And then some of the women we marry are too young and they haven't had their periods. What about them? They wait three months. Chapter 65, verse 4. And those of your women, chapter 65, verse 4, of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, meaning menopause. For them, the idda, prescribed period, if you have doubts about their periods, is three months. Count three months. And for those who have no courses, why? They haven't had their periods. They are still immature. Their idda is three months likewise. It's happening in Saudi Arabia. It's happening in predominant Muslim countries. Now, for the life of me, you have some moral decency. Would you be okay? They take your, let's say you have a six-year-old sister. Mm -hmm. And then a man says, I'm going to marry her. No, that's not okay. But I that's an Islam. And that's what your prophet did to Aisha. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard about that. Well, I'm going to show you. I did some studies about that. And they were just saying how, oh, it's a different time period. She really wasn't really? young. She really wasn't young. So uh, go ahead. Show me. I'm going to show you. So if I show you, it says she was playing with dolls and on swings. And she was uh, she was playing with dolls because she hadn't reached puberty. I'm going to show it to you. But before I do that, let's see what the Muslim scholars say about this verse. Are you ready? Yeah. Here you go. Who's the example given of a woman who hadn't reached puberty 
that was then married, Aisha. Mujahid said that if you have any doubt, 65 is 4. Mm -hmm. If you do not know whether she menstruates or not, the idda of women who do not longer menstruate and those who have not yet menstruated is three months. And then now notice the example here. Here, what did this say in Bukhari? They don't menstruate. Why? Because they're young, right? Those who yeah. have not yet menstruated. Okay, now who's the example given here? Aisha. The health applies to those who have not yet menstruated. And he made the idda of a girl, a girl before puberty, three months. And then here, it is related from Aisha that the prophet married her when she was six years old. And consummated it when she was nine, and she was his wife for nine years. Here are the scholars on the meaning of 65-4. From Ibn Hajar al-Askalani, who wrote the commentary on Sal-Bukhari. And those who haven't menstruated yet. He made the waiting period three months for those who have menstruated yet, which indicates that giving her into marriage before puberty is permissible. Are you okay with that? No. So then you're no longer a Muslim. Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period of the woman in menopause, and that is the one whose menstruation has stopped due to her old age. Her it does three months instead of three monthly cycles for her, those who menstruate, which is based on the ayah in Al-Baqarah. Mm -hmm. The same for what? For the young who haven't so, reached their menstruation. Oh, so your religion allows you to marry young girls who haven't menstruated. Tafsir al-Jalalain. And uh, for those who have not yet menstruated because of their young age. Why is it even having this conversation? I honestly, I don't even have an answer. Exactly. Now here, this is attributed to Ibn Abbas. Some say, well, this is not Ibn Abbas, but it's attributed to him. Um, what about the waiting period of those who do not have menstruation because they are too young? As Bab al-Nuzul by Al-Wahdi, those who are too young such that they have not started menstruating yet. I didn't know any of this. Like, I, I feel so lied to. It's really well, hard. You have been lied to. Now, I'll just give you Tafsir al-Qurtubi, and, and there's a lot more, but anyway, meaning the young girl. What's the word? As Sahira mean? Sahira means young. And that's the Arabic. Yeah. The young girl. That's why she hasn't menstruated. Boom. Aisha and dolls in the search engine. Bam. Look what pops up. Sal Bukhari, volume 8, mm -hmm. Hadith 151. Nair and Aisha, I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the Prophet, and my girl friends also used to play with me. When Allah's messenger used to enter my dwelling place, meaning the home that he gave to her after he married her, right? Mm -hmm. They used to hide themselves. You understand what she just told you? She was so young that the young girls would come and play with her in her home. Young girls. When mm -hmm. Muhammad would come in, they would hide because they're embarrassed. The playing with the dolls and similar images is forbidden. You know, in Islam, you can't play with images. But why was it allowed for Aisha here? But it was allowed for Aisha at that time as she was a little girl, not yet reached the age of puberty. Don't let them lie to you and say she was mature. Yeah, I, I see it. In front of you, right? Yeah, it's there. Aisha reported, the prophet used to call her companions to her who were playing with dolls. It was narrated that Aisha said, the messenger of Allah married me when I was six and consummated marriage with me when I was nine, and I used to play with dolls. This again is Sahih Muslim, book eight, hadith 3311. 3311. All you need to do is go to sunnah.com, put Aisha and dolls. That's it. Aisha, dolls. Look at the chapter. It is permissible for a father to arrange the marriage of a young virgin. Aisha reported Allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old. Because remember, these are lunar years. You know that, right? They're not solar years. So mm -hmm. she's anywhere from between six and seven. But those are lunar years. They don't go by the solar calendar. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a lunar calendar and she's around six lunar years, you know what that means as far as the solar calendar is concerned? No, I don't know. She's much younger. Wow. Lunar years means she's actually much younger if you go by solar years. So now Aisha reported, uh, married her when she was seven years old and he was taken to his house. She was taken, it's supposed to be, to his house as a bride when she was nine and her dolls were with her. And when he died, she was 18 years old. I don't agree with this. This is wrong. <laughs> okay, well, you're no longer a Muslim. 